guys, our prayers have been answered for more Monster Girl as and Yiddies. Welcome guys to the first episode of The Doctor for Monster Girls, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped for considering that we have been watching the Monster Musumi series. This definitely does give off very similar vibes considering it literally has Monster Musumi also in the title and it also has Alamia as the main character. But yeah, I'm just overall really looking forward to it. I hope it's equally as good as Monster Musumi and I'm just overall looking forward to the amount of different species will meet and considering that it does have a doctor kind of aspect to things I'm hoping to learn and get you know culturally educated more about different species like interspecies kind of provided for us so with much anticipation let us get into things if you guys want to watch full anime make sure to check out the link above or else we send the video in three two one go damn a hundred years of war. Hmm. Damn. They're laying the plot on thick. Oh, oh, now this is what we came for. <laughs> oh. But. <laughs> they laid the plot on thick. <laughs> Always got to start with the minotaurs. Can I say that? I do quite like the background music. On top of the moaning. <laughs> You'll be thick. That's your illness. I'm sorry. I'll be serious. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, Dale. <laughs> Oh, we're doing the whole, um, damn, we're doing the whole, um, 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 congratulations, though. Oh, let's see Alamia. She's very pretty. Salad. What was with the, hmm? Case one, the center of the arena. Is that what it said? I do like how we are in a, a more of a like a medieval, I would say, setting. These fellas look weird. I don't mean to be mean. <laughs> Oh, she the jelly type. Oh my god, she's exactly like Mia. It would be so like ironically kind of funny if they got um the same seiyus for like all the characters. Safi. Look at the little tail wag. Oh, I was going to comment, I thought all the guys were going to be like full animal, like anthropomorph, wait, is it anthropomorph? I don't know. Um, transformations, but, oh my god, them bazookas were huge. <laughs> but it looks like some of the guys are also like half human, half like animal looking. I'm loving all the like 
costumes. Wait, are you meant to be a seal? <laughs> or is she just wearing a seal coat? I'm confused. But yeah, I was gonna say, I love all the costumes. I think that's because it's a different kind of setting. Like, sorry, I can't help but compare it to Monster Musumi because I literally watched a couple of episodes, but I think that's because of the different setting. We get to see some really cool costumes. Oh, oh that's why we're going to our arena. A princess. We're meeting a princess. What species is the princess gonna be? Damn, damn. <laughs> I love how the dog just be in sandals. I just realized that. Oh, she's got quite the um, brattiness to her, about her. Mm, I do see your credentials. Thank you. She kind of annoys me, I'm sorry. Definitely got a different kind of like noble. Oh, she did not, no, no, no. She reminds me of um, Bitch Chan. Do we all remember her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, wait, she was a princess? I'm a little disappointed. <gasps> Neko girls. Oh, as my rule always goes, girls with cat ears are just adorable. End of story. End of discussion. <laughs> She's just like, nope. <laughs> She's definitely got a different nobleness um, that centaurs do. <laughs> focus, focus. Don't know if I should be focusing on the plot or... Okay. <laughs> what are you implying, sweetie? I didn't know the heartbeat was there. <laughs> I do like how we have the doctor as an excuse for a lot of physical examinations. A lot of physical examinations. A lot of touchy-feely. Damn. Rude. <laughs> the best marriages and racehorses are quick. She's suddenly calling it a Plump. <laughs> I will say, I think personality matters to the hotness. Mm. 
Nope. <laughs> Someone's a little jelly. Oh, these were the ladies from before. Outfits though, love it. Beautiful. Oh, they did seem quite concerned, didn't they? Or maybe they're hoping for her to be affected. Are they relieved or are they bitchy? They seem disappointed. Worried? Oh, okay, never mind. Seems like, yeah. This seems like a little bit of like mystery to things. I do quite like their friendship. Or it could be more than friendship, but for now. Yeah, what happened? Spill, spill the tea. Oh, she hasn't been able to win. Is it because she got thick? That's a bit. Unfortunate to hear. I mean, oh, that that's a toughie. I mean, is it a, a medical thing or? But she seemed healthy. That's quite brutal. Yeah, it's probably she feels like she needs to carry herself that way. We're quite interested to see if this will be like a medical kind of case they need to solve, which I feel like it would be the case for this kind of storyline. Time to get drunk together. Maybe it's not a physical thing. Maybe it's like a mental thing. I'm really hoping they have like something. Oh, it's ice rare. I did not know. I guess it would make sense because I don't think they would have fridges and like telephones in this era. <laughs> So I'm concerned they use like carriages. Did she just chug? Damn, sweetie. Oh, she think okay, things about to get CD, get prepared. <laughs> oh, it's within the drink. I feel like maybe it's a drink. Maybe they're drunk every time they fight. I 
I told you things were about to get seedy. <laughs> um. um. I don't feel like the doc's strong enough to handle this. Oh, that's why you can't make a move. Ugh. I feel like all Lamias have a condition of jealousy. <laughs> a lot of jealousy. Have you not broken a bone yet? Things have been pretty, I thought, I thought. I definitely thought alcohol, drunkness, bang, bang time. But actually not. I am a little bit curious as to what her um, like kind of cause will be. I do like the Neko Neko girl though, she'd be cute. <gasps> 10 losses in a row. Damn, that is harsh. I mean, sometimes you just go on like unlucky streaks. Maybe she needs like a mental mental break because you know when you're in a losing streak, it's hard to get out of it. So maybe she just needs like a change in environment. It might necessarily not always be about training. And I'm just going to say, I think if you go up against an agility person with a longsword, you're most likely going to lose. Just like matchup wise. But we'll see. We'll see the doctor's diagnosis. I kind of thought maybe it was alcohol. Or maybe she needs to drink some alcohol. You know, loosen up. What is, oh, it's your hooves. Wait, wouldn't you realize that in your medical? Oh, maybe the hint was in her getting bigger. Okay, I would have never picked up on that. Or maybe this is more just like it. Oh, is she afraid? And that's why she never got hooves. Okay. <laughs> They're just like, yep, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they make it seem so scary? I guess that was kind of scary. Okay, it looks a little bit more torturous. Oh, she's just a big baby. Oh, Sophie's such a big baby. How do you, how are you in a... T how did you manage to be a fighter if you're afraid of pain? <laughs> Doc, where are you going? I do agree, I do agree. Oh, oh my god, oh. Mm -hmm. I didn't know 
centaurs were sensitive on the hooves. <laughs> oh, she liked it like that. That's why. She liked it like that. <laughs> Some characters are different animated. Like, animated differently, aren't they? Oh my god, sweetie, breathe! Breathe! I wonder if it does hurt. Does it hurt? She seems alright. It's kind of nice to see, um, oh, I forgot what species they're called, um, Cyclops. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rise! That got shoved in there. <laughs> Sephir, I think Sephir, Sephir is just like chilled with her, yeah. <laughs> I'm still pretty tame though, considering how we started off, like how we started off the episode, still pretty tamed. Hopefully we can see her victory. She's on a three win streak after a 10 loss. Damn, you look slick and shiny with those new hooves. Ooh, what species was that? Okay, so it looks like this doctor kind of character. Ooh, li lizard? But they have ears. That's cool. I'm oh, just lizard. Some type of wall. <laughs> it looked like you glitched out there, sweetie. Um. At least you won. <laughs> Yay! She's back on our winning streak. Good for you, sweetie. Good for you. Good for you. I feel like this doctor character that we might meet later on will be kind of maybe second so plot we explore. I do like this ending song. <gasps> Wait, does she have a hole in which that went in through? <laughs> it's always about courting. That's. Where's the bull physics? Or maybe it's because it's protected by the armor. I'm just, I'm just questioning, you know, I've got a question. Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? Oh, you're a mermaid. Oh my God, you'd be so pretty. I didn't know what mermaids could choke on water. Oh, she's so freaking pretty. Oh, who are you all? That looks interesting. Case two, the mermaid of the waterways. I love, okay, I am so in love with all the kind of character designs, especially with the costumes. I think there's something really like aesthetically pleasing about all the different kind of like types of costumes we've been seeing. I love the armor look we saw for the centaur. I love the kind of like Lamia look we have going on. And with this mermaid, we kind of have like a gypsy kind of look going on. So there's a lot of great like kind of costumes and like styles going on. So that itself is really exciting to kind of explore. But continuing on from kind of like aesthetics and animation, I will say sometimes like I'm a little bit 
bit visually confused because they look like they switch between 2D and like 3D sometimes. And that's why the little kind of like fairies things look really weird. But then like the Lamia looks fine, the Doctor looks fine. But then with the Centaurs, like sometimes their legs were like oddly animated, but then it looked fine. I don't know, I think that's because they kind of switch between the two. It's like either go with one or the other or only use the other like once every now and then. But they kind of keep switching back and forth. So I will say like visually I'm just like, what's kind of going on? I may be wrong about that. Like it might just be completely fine. So I'm definitely curious to hear your guys' thoughts on like kind of the overall visuals. Do make sure to let me know. And surprisingly, this is a lot more like PG than I thought it was gonna be. Obviously it's episode one, so I feel like, you know, the spices will be layered on as we continue our episodes. But I was surprised at like how much more like kind of plot was going down. It looks like as the Doctor kind of theme, each episode is going to explore kind of like a case. Hence why when the episode started, it said like case one, the centaurs of the arena. So it definitely giving off a lot more kind of like educational vibes with the solution of this episode being about kind of attaching the hooves but like a part of me is just like you know you know ladies boys act just like species let's get a little bit more seedy i think this is like the case of like if it's ichi bring me that ichi because if i was like here for the plot you know i would be here for the plot but it's like no i want the thick plot to deliver on the thick plot and that's that though i think there's going to be like a lot more species to kind of explore that we haven't seen before so that gets me quite interested especially kind of with the three ladies we ended on i'm so in love with the doll of the mermaid i love it and then the other two gave off kind of a mysterious vibe that i do believe we are going to meet later on so i'm definitely excited to kind of meet them and so overall i think there's a lot more ladies to explore so i'm definitely keen to watch episode two as I do want to get more of a bit of vibe of where this anime is going as well so yeah on that note I'm definitely excited to meet more of our lovely ladies so until then make sure you guys say awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next time